हेलो एवरीवन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक कोविड 19 यू नो आई एम सो अनोयड बट द पीपल व्हेन दे रिकॉग्नाइज मी लाइक दिस ओके ओके यू एनीवे आई एम इन क्लास ट्वेल्थ अनफॉर्चुनेटली वेरी एक्साइटेड नो वी एंड अ लिटिल बिट एंशियस नॉट दैट आई एम गोइंग टू गिव बोर्ड फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम actually yes for the first time as we missed our boards in 10th because of covid 19 but that's not what we here to talk about we here to talk about that i am having mixed feelings about going to the college very soon you know we all had that feelings during our teen and we all had watched the bollywood movies about the fun the friends and the craziness but there's one thing that my parents are worried about even i am at times that am i going to adapt any bad habits you know those late night outs those night stays those depression or anxiety strokes or am i just overthinking i don't know well when smartphones came in the picture back in 2012 or 2010 maybe we all were so excited we all was so hyped up about a gadget that we can hold in our hand and do whatever with it we can talk to people instantly we can message them we can video call them <laughs> we can see them but slowly and gradually even without realizing it the road it took us to the phones the smartphones became an integral part of our lives without even realizing it we we wake up in the morning we search for our phones that's the first thing we do no alarm clocks no watches we just we just forgot about those tiny little things and instead adapted and got involved in the technologies to the deepest cores of our i tell you an incident about me a few days back i posted a story on instagram and mentioned a few of my friends some of them saw my story and some of them did not instead of me appreciating the people who actually saw it i was worried about people who didn't i was so worried i was so worried that i couldn't sleep i was so worried that i was kept checking on my phone again and again and again but you know the next day with a heavy heart and a heavy mind and those sleep effects i wasn't able to concentrate i wasn't able to concentrate on myself when this happened to me i was so nervous i was in the school it was a happy day to go but deep inside i wasn't really excited and with the disturbed sleep came the biggest of the enemy the worst of the enemy procrastination yes 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 procrastination i'm sure you all have heard this word once in a lifetime procrastination when we are not able to concentrate properly we are not able to work properly thus i made lame excuses and the work piled up on me but it gives me a question in my mind that what is happening what what are these smartphones aren't we lost in them children teen youngsters are getting prone to disorders these days perhaps our parents didn't even know about this disorder at the time of their age people of my age even younger than me are getting prone to disorders like adhd or convulsions visiting doctors and taking continuous medications also we also talk about relationships how we mark being in a relationship as a sign of our elated happiness <laughs> yes elated happiness we post stories together hands in hand to share our superficial happiness with the world superficial at such a young age do we even know or understand what a relationship actually means so correct me if i wrong what is happening where are we heading to people call us the future of the nation is this the future of the nation anxious depressed or a procrastinator this is not all our younger friends are getting addicted to drugs 
and alcohol these days. Children of class 6 and 7 are facing issues. That's one, that, uh, that question wonders me that how a child from 6 and 7 is trying to hide all of this from their parents. Do you think this is the right path we are heading to? But that is the wretched truth of the day. The future of the nation has taken the road of addictions. <laughs> but with every problem comes a solution. And in this situation, the solution is in our hands and in our hands only. It is we who need to manage all of this. It is we who need to take steps ahead or back to make amendments. It is we who need to get path of this addiction. It is we who need to find a new path. A path that is so energetic, encouraging and beautiful that it does not take me or us but everyone to the destination of success. You know, as we blame internet for all that all types of addiction, it's the internet only which can take us out of this gloomy situation. These, these unwanted circumstances. But for that, we have to follow some steps. And for the first step is to believe and being honest with ourselves. Let us take a pledge to be away from the mobile phones just for a limited time of period. Say, we can put our phones at the bay just for a few hours. But there's only one thing that we all will wonder once we do that. The thing is, what to do? What we will do without our phones? Don't we have anything apart from mobile surfing or binge watching? In this situation, Recall what your parents used to do. They didn't have any smartphones, t smart TVs, smart watches at their time of the age. So what they would do? Also, studies have shown that most of the people who spend most of their time at their phones uh, lack in focus and in mental stability. Most of the people check their phone every 15 minutes. Unlike me, I do it every 5 minutes without, without any alerts or notifications. But it's, it's only we who need to make better digital habits. And the easiest way is to keep our phone on a power off mode just for a half an hour on an hour. And we can do that multiple, multiple times in a day. We can make our routine and stick to it strictly. We can kick the phone out of the bed, sleep without keeping the phone under your pillows. Teens, I'm talking to you, without keeping your phones under the pillow. And here, I don't just talk, talk about smartphones. I also talk about the other devices. We have smart watches. But you know, a device is a device. Be it anything, laptops, smartphones, TVs, smart watches, be it anything, it can, it can harm us in a similar way. Instead, develop a habit of reading a book before going to the bed instead of mobile surfing. Yes. Develop a habit of reading a book. Once you start reading a book, you'll get to know the power of a book. Also, after this, there's, I, uh, there's one enemy that I mentioned before. Procrastination. The dreadful enemy, procrastination. And for the solution for that is that we know that procrastination is never going to allow us to do the right things at the right time. So what to do? What to do about this enemy? We have to get away from this enemy, not to be successful, but to have a happy and a healthy life. Is, uh, what we do is we don't make a plan B. Never make a plan B. In your college, in your school, in your journal life, never make a plan B. Because being a procrastinator, our mind will always lean towards the plan B. Make only one plan. Stick to it. If it takes less than two minutes to do a task, just do it. I say it, I say it again, just do it. And by saying this, I can recall a wise man once said, fight with your mind, subdue with your heart, defend with your body, and conquer with your soul. Do not wait for the right moment. This is the moment. You decided to do something, you plan to do something, do it right then and there. 
you want to stay motivated tell your plans to your mom she will wake you up you want to wake up at 7 tell her to wake you up she will wake you up at 6 and tell you it's 8 yeah yeah moms are like that but my point here is that a single change in the environment a single change can bring such a wonderful change in your environment try something new every day try something try adding plants to your room try adding a daily task manager to your room try adding try adding candles to your room try reading books more and more at times uh, i have experienced this personally that taking a walk during morning or in the evening gives such a satisfactory relief to all kinds of anxiety yes also even adding a sport to your daily routine is a remarkable idea as it keeps away all kinds of depression or anxiety addictions and being a procrastinator moreover it adds tiredness to your body and eventually you have a peaceful sleep personally i love to play basketball i play basketball daily but just to try something new just out of curiosity i also play cricket if i can do it you can do it try it once you go home today try it also from generation to generation we have observed the mankind has observed that meditation is the most effective way to get off from your addictions try that feel the relaxation feel the relief compose the power within yourself follow some steps make a plan a and a plan a only and stay strong go on yourself to take the world in your stride and at the end i would just like to quote that what you what you conquer physically you have temporarily what you conquer mentally you have momentarily what you conquer emotionally you have enduringly and what you conquer spiritually you have permanently thank you you have been a great audience thank you guys